Hello, everyone. This is a screencast to help you log into our studio for the first time and learn your way around just enough uh, to log out again successfully. You're going to need to log in before you can uh, begin any of your uh, real class work. So let's do this. You'll have been provided with the URL for the RStudio server at Georgetown College. And it's https colon forward slash forward slash rstudio.georgetowncollege.edu colon 8787. You'll get this link in your syllabus or um, you know on Canvas or some other central place. And you can just uh, paste it into the URL line of your browser. OK. Once you're there, you're going to see this sign in. Um, splash page. And you're going you're gonna to enter just your username for your Georgetown College network, just like you would get onto the portal or any other campus resource, and your uh, Georgetown College password. So my username, hwhite0, and my password, of course, is a secret. And then press sign in. Do not click stay signed in. You want to sign in and you want to log out. You don't want to stay signed in. That can, can create some problems and confusions if the server should ever go down or need maintenance or anything like that. So we're just going to say sign in, the blue button. And we're going to have to wait a moment while the server takes our request and produces an RStudio image for us. When you first open up RStudio, it's going to look something like this. There's going to be three panes console pane where I'm waving my mouse over here on the left. On the right there'll be two panes. At the top is one that currently says environment and it should be empty if this is the first time you ever used our studio. And on the bottom the files tab should be on top and there should be very little in it. There might be a directory called R and, and, and maybe nothing else if this is the first time you've ever logged on. Now, I know this thing looks kind of complicated and there's all kinds of, you know, menus and, uh, you know, complicated options within the menus. And, and, and it, it can be intimidating the first time around. It can look like looking on the insides of a lawnmower where all the parts are just kind of sitting out there. And, and what we're going to do gradually through subsequent screencasts and as the course progresses, is to get you to learn to use just the parts that you need to pay attention to. And you'll find with some experience that it becomes a second nature to do the important common tasks. This task has been accomplished. You have logged on. Now all you got to do is log off. How do you do that? Head up to the upper right hand corner and you're going to see various buttons. And, and those buttons you're all going to want to ignore throughout the whole course, except this first one that has your username next to it. And that button, when you hover on it, says sign out. That one you do want to push. And you've signed out. So there you go. You have succeeded in establishing yourself as a user on the Georgetown College RStudio server. Now, before we leave, I want to point out one thing that you don't want to do. Don't search for the RStudio server by Googling for it. You know, like uh, if you say like RStudio server or something like that. You know, you're going to get to some websites for like the company that makes RStudio. And there is an excellent chance, if you scroll down, that you might actually get uh, a link to an RStudio server at another institution. And then you'll get to their sign-on page and you'll be unable to log on because you're not part of that college. So don't do it by uh, Google. Always do it by the correct URL given to you um, through Canvas or the syllabus, however your instructor gets it to you. That's all for now.